todos! Bienvenidos a la Casho! I'm Casho Bo. Act like you know. All right, here on this fantastic, ooh, check out my new graphic. Mm, fantastic graphic. I'm here on this fantastic Saturday, May 5th, and yes, it's what, May 5th? Oh my gosh, May Cinco de Mayo! That's right, now, no, no. Despite what some think, this is not. Not. Cinco de Mayo is more akin to like uh, Mexico's Columbus Day. That's right, they, they don't really care about it. It's mostly ignored in Mexico, but one that Americans seem to convince themselves must be some important Mexican thing and use it as an excuse to drink a metric tongue of margaritas and use all the Spanish they learned in high school, like hola, que hora es, and no, no, no tengo una novia. All right, now you guys, Lucky Spin is this show. That's right. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know that because I posted that just, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Lucky Spin will be at the end of this show, so stick around. Now it's time for some shout outs. Whitney Wise, I absolutely love playing the cast show. The live shows are so much fun. Whitney, I could not agree more. All right, then we've got another shout out from Tammy Donahue. Thanks for the anniversary shout out. Hey, yeah, I think this one, uh, I think I remember this one. We need to talk about what anniversary means. Six months? Mm, not so sure. All right, now, Bambizzle, 44, Houston, Texas, in the house. Then we got Loyal, 32, Detroit here. And also, Alimel, Al Alimel, Penn State, Penn State, Detroit, and Houston, Texas, all in the house. Hey, you guys, this is like a whole country kind of thing. That's dope, right? Give me some. All right. Now, big news. Remember, tomorrow, the final game, $25,000. This is the biggest game that we've done yet. You guys be here for it. You got to be in it to win it. So if you haven't done Lucky Spin before, here's how it works. After the final round, stay for the Lucky Spin where you have a chance to win a prize that helps you win more money on the cash show. Okay, you're guaranteed a prize. That might be a free life. A wrong gone, a skip card, which skips you directly ahead of the prize question round, or the power prize, which gives you double the cash at the end of the round. So, remember though, you have to use it within 24 hours. You have to use that by this show, or it's a no-go. If you don't use it, you lose it. All right, we know the rules, we know how to play. 12 questions, on with the show, and away we go. <laughs> I'm going to call this one Slow Pitch Saturday, all right? You'll see why. Question one. What is your body doing if you are perspiring, swimming, sweating, singing? Now, many of these activities can cause the other, all right? And maybe even going up and talking to that cute girl at the coffee shop you see every day because you only live once, darn it, you might be sweating a little bit. Okay, you guys know this one. Just a, just a butt check for you, just a slow pitch. Now. You know, you might be saying to yourself, I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe she'll be there again. I'll put on some Old Spice first, though. Okay? That's, a, that's, that's, that's good advice for anyone. Or Axe. That's, uh, that's got pheromones in it. That drives people crazy, right? Question two. What condiment is usually associated with coleslaw and potato salad? Ketchup, mayonnaise, or mustard? Now, when I first was looking at this question, it made me a little bit confused because... The answer is my Graham Graham's love. She puts it in everything. Love and, well, I guess, mayonnaise. Our answer, mayonnaise. Now, while mustard might find its way into a potato salad recipe, both dishes are traditionally made with a mayonnaise base. That's what most things are made with in the Midwest, which is one of the reasons I moved away. <laughs> Question three. Which of these animals doesn't have a mane? A lion, a horse, or an eel? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and call this one another butt check. All right. Now, I'm imagining our answer. I'm imagining our answer with a mane. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like if you have a pulse, you're gonna get this one. If you get this one wrong, I cannot be your mane man. This is the eel. Yes, now eels. See, for me, I, I gotta be honest, I only really like my eels dead or close to dead in a delicious sushi roll. I mean, who, <laughs> who writes these? All right, do we have something? Hello Prime says, what does your shirt say? Patao, it says, Qing Jiang Pu Tong Hua. That's a good one. If you speak Chinese, that's hilarious. Question four, what secret Marvel spy agency was introduced in the Avengers and now has its own TV show, Fire, Marshal, or Shield? <laughs> 
Now, I'd have to say, in my humble opinion, the movie, yes, the show, nah, not so much, yet somehow Firefly gets canceled before they complete one season, that ain't right. S.H.I.E.L.D. is our answer here. Now, S.H.I.E.L.D. stands for the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division. And as Stony Tark pointed out in, uh, in Iron Man 1, name needs a little work. Name needs a little work. All right, question five is, which small insect is responsible for Lyme disease? The tick, the common housefly, or the cockroach? Now for me, all of these are on my short list of least favorite in insects. But you know what, what's your favorite insect? There's some cool ones out there. Let me know in the comments. I'm a fan of the praying mantis myself. It's like pretty cool. But the tick is our answer here. Also a fantastic superhero. Now the next time you're lying in the grass taking in those artsy pics for Instagram, don't forget that the tick check is just as important as the which filter you choose. The more you know, don't get Lyme disease. Now on to our prize questions. Now, do all remember, fair viewer, that if you have some app questions or some in-app help that is needed, use the contact us within the app itself. Or for funsies, if you want to add me on the Twitterverse, that's fine too, at casho underscore bow. I'm out there shouting out to people every single day. And oh yeah, 请讲普通话. That means please speak Mandarin. Uh, list underscore 8759. Did you get contacts? No, I had to memorize the whole show. I can't see a thing. All right. Okay, so remember again, just over 24 hours to our biggest game yet. And uh, hey, just speaking of Instagram, here's our next question. Question six, what technology company currently owns Instagram, Twitter, Google, or Facebook? Which one of these Goliath? If you have no idea, I mean, just pick one of them. They're all huge. You would be forgiven if you didn't know. But the answer is, in fact, Facebook, the book of faces. That's right. Now, Facebook made some changes, like the new timeline algorithm, which would be the worst thing about Instagram, except the worst thing is when you turn on sound for one video, it turns it on for all videos. Thanks, guys. Question seven. In 1997, 685 people were rushed to the hospital after watching an episode of which animated show? The Simpsons, Rugrats, or Pokemon? What? That's terrible. I've actually seen this clip in question, and before we start pointing fingers, let's just make it clear, it's not poor Pikachu or Porygon's fault from Pokemon, our answer. How did this happen? You might have a good guess, I'll tell you. Now, in the episode, Pikachu's thunderbolt attack was accompanied by flashing strobe lights, which induced hundreds of photosensitive epileptic seizures across Japan. Hey, kitty, how you doing? Are you here to comfort us? Mm. Thanks for that. So sorry if you guys just took a guess. Remember, even a 33% chance is pretty good, but Comfort Cat is here to comfort you. Question eight. This one is worth $150. We have 48,000 cash kids waiting for that lucky spin and 14, nearly 15,000 of you still in it to win it. Question eight is, which of these auto-tune songs was first to be released? Buy you a drink by T-Pain. Believer, believe, share. One more time, Daft Punk. Now for me, um, I think, uh, I th I've got this line I was thinking, I believe I should buy you a drink one more time. That was, this is this gonna be my line that I was gonna use with this girl at the coffee shop. I think it's gonna be a winner. What do you guys think? Yeah, believe by Cher is our answer. Now, auto-tune was first used on Cher's smash hit Believe in 1998. Now, we've had to suffer through auto-tune for the past 20 years. Thanks a lot, Cher. Shout out to Kimberly6198. Thanks for playing, Kim. Kimberly. Tom3340. Firefly was the best show ever. Tom, you add me on Twitter. Absolutely. We're clearly of a like mind. We're friends. Question number nine is worth $300. Our sun falls under which stellar classification? F25, a G25, or an A15? Good old Roman numerals there, some of my favorites. Speaking of NASA, InSight was successfully launched yesterday, making its six-month journey to Mars. It's a robotic Mars lander designed to study the interior of the subsurface of Mars. Pretty cool stuff. Our answer is G25. All right, not too hot, not too cold, not too bright, not too dim. Very important things for a little thing we call sentient life on our planet. 
That's good stuff. Myself, me, I'm looking forward to the James Webb Space Telescope. That's the successor to the Hubble. Going to be pretty bad ace. All right, question number 10. This one is worth $300, including the smallest islands. Roughly how many Greek islands are there? 6,000, 8,000, or 9,200? Very specific there. Now do stick around our fair viewer. Lucky Spin is coming this game, this game, not the next game. You'll want to be in it to win it for that. It's going to help you for the next one. Our answer here, 6,000 islands, you guys. That, you know how long it takes to count to 6,000? Longer than we have today. But the number of actually inhabited islands clearly is far lower. At about 227 counted. Crete being the largest Greek island. Highly recommend you guys go there. It's, uh, it's sweet. Question 11, worth $450. Abraham Lincoln held a patent that enhanced what form of transportation, boat, train, or horseback riding? The larger than life Lincoln, also the tallest president by far at six foot four, he also had a mind for engineering. And I believe that it is this invention that is what coined the phrase, good thinking, Abe Lincoln, for that boat. All right, that's our, that was his invention. Now, he's the only president to ever have a U.S. patent, which is cool by itself, but Lincoln's invention helped boats buoy